Hello and welcome to Book Club on the Go, the podcast where we explore one book at a time. Today, we'll be discussing one of the most iconic and influential works of modernist literature, Ulysses by James Joyce. As someone who has read this novel multiple times, I can attest to the fact that it is a challenging but rewarding work of literature that offers readers a unique and innovative perspective on the human experience. First published in 1922, Ulysses follows the lives of three main characters, Leopold Bloom, Stephen Dedalus, and Molly Bloom over the course of a single day in Dublin, Ireland. The novel is divided into 18 chapters, each of which is written in a different style and follows a different narrative structure. One of the most striking aspects of this book is Joyce's use of language. He employs a stream-of-consciousness style of writing, which allows the reader to experience the inner thoughts and feelings of the characters in real time. The novel is also notable for its use of multiple narrative perspectives, including first-person and third-person points of view. Joyce's novel is also heavily influenced by classical literature, particularly Homer's Odyssey. Each chapter of this book corresponds to a different episode in Homer's epic poem, and Joyce uses this structure to explore themes of identity, mortality, and the search for meaning in the modern world. This book has had a profound impact on modern literature and has been hailed as one of the greatest novels of the 20th century. Its innovative use of language and structure has inspired countless writers and artists, and its exploration of the human experience continues to resonate with readers today. However, it's worth noting that Ulysses is not an easy read. Its dense prose, multiple narrative perspectives, and complex themes require a significant investment of time and effort on the part of the reader. But for those who are willing to take on the challenge, Ulysses offers a unique and rewarding literary experience that is sure to leave a lasting impression. Let's explore some of the controversies and challenges surrounding this book. Despite its reputation as a literary masterpiece, Ulysses has been the subject of controversy and censorship since its publication. In the United States, the novel was banned for obscenity for over a decade, and it was not until 1933 that a court ruling lifted the ban and allowed the novel to be published in the U.S. One of the most controversial aspects of the novel is its frank and explicit treatment of sexuality. The novel's final chapter, in particular, has been the subject of much debate due to its famously explicit and unapologetic portrayal of female sexuality. In addition to its explicit content, Ulysses is also notoriously difficult to read. Its use of -of stream-of-consciousness writing, multiple narrative perspectives, and dense prose can make it a challenging and even frustrating read for some. However, many readers and literary scholars argue that the difficulty of this book is precisely what makes it such a rewarding and valuable work of literature. Joyce's innovative use of language and structure forces readers to engage with the novel on a deeper level, and the novel's exploration of complex themes such as identity, mortality, and the search for meaning in the modern world make it a rich and rewarding reading experience for those who are willing to invest the time and effort. In conclusion, while Ulysses is not without its controversies and challenges, it remains a groundbreaking and influential work of literature that has left an indelible mark on the literary world. Its innovative use of language and structure, its frank treatment of sexuality, and its exploration of complex themes continue to inspire and challenge readers today. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. Remember, this podcast is all about exploring one book at a time. If you want to dive deeper and better understand the book, we recommend picking up a copy and reading it yourself. Make sure to tune in next week when we discuss another book. Remember to subscribe and review our podcast to help us reach more book lovers like you. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until next time, stay curious.